My name is Tommy, and this is my Draw My Life video. So to start off, I am Canadian, born in Toronto, Ontario, and if you're not familiar to what the Canada map looks like, it looks kind of like this. Toronto is on the lower portion of that lower corner. I have two older sisters, Lena, who's nine years older than me, and Sue, who's six years older than me. So being the youngest one, I was the runt of the family, and a little awkward and shy, so this is me. I have two cousins that I grew up with. Yvonne, who's one year younger than me, and Carol, who's 14 days older than me. So growing up, I was a bit of a monkey child. I liked to hang off walls, monkey bars, anything I could find. One thing I really liked to do was jump off a moving swing and see how far I could land. I practically drove my parents, my aunt and uncle, crazy in the house. They were not happy with me at all. I did have some indoor hobbies though. Like every other elementary school kid, I spent hours and hours sitting in front of the magic box. I would watch TV, watch Dragon Ball Z. That was one of my favorite shows. I would be drawing it all the time. Actually. I'm seriously considering getting a tattoo of something Dragon Ball Z related, but my girlfriend is very against that. Other than that, I watched Pokemon, another one of my favorite cartoons. It was awesome. Seriously, I played the video game all day. Then there was an animation, or an anime, a Japanese cartoon in a sense. Um, it's called Captain Tsubasa. It was about a little kid who loved soccer and wanted to play soccer for his country in the World Cup. That cartoon started my passion to play soccer. And that passion led me to my worst injury ever. So to explain that, we're going to fast forward a little bit to high school time. My friend was just like, hey, you want to play soccer? And I'm like, sure, why not? So we went to the local soccer field and we just started playing shoot and catch. One was goalie, one was shooting, and the ball flew upwards, really, really high up. And for some odd reason, I decided to hit the ball in midair with a bicycle kick. Not too smart. Once I hit the ball, I lost momentum and I started to fall. I hit the ground. This is exaggerated, I did not bleed, but my arm was bent. Yeah, I got a fracture on my forearm there, and understandably, I started to freak out. I was sweating buckets. But because of the adrenaline of the fall, I was able to place my right hand on top of my left, and I started to push for some reason. I pushed until I bent my forearm back to a straight line, but in the next 20 minutes or so, it started to swell up. My forearm got so swollen that I was reminded of Popeye's forearm. So that was that, I had to go to the hospital, get a cast, and then by the end of summer I had to go back to school. But to my surprise, I saw somebody else with a cast, and that was my friend Kaveri. She would eventually become my best friend later on. So this leads to the next topic, friends. In the high school I have my own pack of friends. There's me, Robert, and Kaveri, I mentioned earlier, and a few other people. After high school came college, and deciding what to study was fairly simple for me. I knew that we had to work for money, we need money, and why not study finance? So I did that for a while, and I don't know, school just got a little heavy, so I eventually, after a year, I dropped out and I went to look for a job. I went online, found a job, so I went to an interview, and then got the job. I worked for a while, but I knew I had to finish college, so I balanced school and work for about two years. When that was done, I was like, yay, I'm done school. I was very happy. That was around the time when Kaveri and I started dating. So now she's my girlfriend. During this time, it was her that needed to finish her education. So she decided to go study abroad 
in Australia. Very far away place, halfway around the world. Place where kangaroos and koalas exist. But it's not all cute, cuddly animals. They also have the most amount of species that could kill you, like sharks and spiders and oddly shaped jellyfish. But it was okay, I, I was working then anyways. I found a job at a financial institution, but as time went by, I started to get very, very sick of that job. I hated the job itself. It was just mind-numbing. My mood started to go way down. I was unhappy for days and days. And I eventually went to the doctor and they prescribed me medicine. I was on anti-anxiety pills and other medication for about a year. I was angry at everything too. I told Kaveri about it and she was like, if you don't like this job, just quit. Do something else. So that's what I did. I quit my job. I got on a plane and I went to Australia actually. I went there on a working holiday visa and I worked there while spending time with my girlfriend. That started my love for traveling actually. The both of us would pack one suitcase and then just travel across Australia whenever we had time. It was really cool to see a different place and just see a lot of things and meet new people early. A year later, we came back to Canada, our home and native land. At that time, I was Mr. Happy. Everything was great. But the one problem was, what, what about work? How am I going to make money now? So Kavira was like, if you don't like what you do now, just go back to school and do something else. Learn something else. I'm like, you know what? That sounds like a great idea. I'm going to go back to school. But what do I like? I love cartoons. So I decided to study art, fine arts, and major, well, actually specialize in animation. I finished my first year, met some really cool people, it's an inside joke, don't mind these drawings. And after my first year, Kaveri and I took a trip to Mexico, one of those all-inclusive trips with the tequila, the lime, maracas, and jalapenos. Yeah, great place to be. Spent a week there, it was amazing. So second year started and I finished that, no problem. I make it sound like it's so easy, but it was, it was okay. <laughs> Kaveri has been very, very caring, super supportive and really patient about this entire thing. Going back to school as a mature student is not easy. So we're pretty close to the present now. We've decided to do, take a little trip after my second year, this is my second year summer, so we're going to Greece. Great place to be. I think by the time I show her this video, we will be in Greece, most likely in Santorini by now, one of the Greek islands. After this, our next stop is Paris. Great place to be as well. We're going to have a lot of fun, have some cheese and wine. It's going to be awesome. So that's my life up till now. And as you can see, there are basically two major influences in my life. One being cartoons. And since I'm studying animation now, I assume that cartoons will be a part of my life for a long time. The other is my current girlfriend, Kaveri. And she is just so awesome. She's been super supportive about everything. And since we're in such a romantic vacation trip right now, I would like to ask her if she would like to spend the rest of her life with me. But she didn't tell you when the world has brought you down to your knees that I'll be there for you when the rain starts to pour. I'll be there for you like I've been there before. I'll be there for you because you're there for me too.